Hey, what's happening, everybody? Um, I've showed how to do uh, everything else in Plex except set up your Plex server. So today we're going to walk through that. Um, so I have all I have my drives, and then I this is my two terabyte Seagate, and then I put my TV shows in there. I make a TV show folder, and then in inside that TV show the folder I make subfolders for each TV show and then I throw the episodes in each subfolder and then for my 8 terabyte Seagate I have my movie section and then you can set up sub menus if you want certain categories or you can just throw them in your movie section and I'll show you but that's I just wanted to give you the background of my two drives that I have on this device for my Plex server. 2 terabyte for my TV shows, 8 terabyte for my movies. So you're going to open up your uh, browser and you're going to type in Plex Media Server. Oops. And then click on Plex Media Server. Installation. Plex Downloads. And then whatever whatever you're wanting to download. I'm on Windows so I hit download. It'll download it and then you'll have to restart your PC. And then it it'll it'll be installed. So that's where we're at now. I restarted my PC, it's installed. So this is where we're at. Now you just sign into your Plex account. It's going to tell you how Plex works. Got it. And then it can, it's going to tell you, you know, your lifetime Plex pass yearly or monthly. You don't have to have a Plex pass. So this is where you can name your your uh, server. My first one I named Ron Flix, so I'm going to name this one Ron Flix. Two, and then just leave all that. Just name it whatever you want. So now this is where we're going to add your library. You can get rid of these if you don't have music or photos. You can go ahead and get rid of those. So we're going to add library. Going to pick movies. Next, browse for media folder. I think th my E drive was my movies. Nope, D drive was my movies. Movies. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Add. Add library. Next. Done. So now we got movies. Now it's scanning that whole movie drive okay so while that's doing that we'll go up to the add libraries we'll do TV shows now next browse for media folder e drive TV shows I'm just gonna leave it there add add library so now for those subfolders I'm gonna go ahead and add those subfolders from the movie so put add movies we're gonna name it 
go back to our drive so we got 4k movies so name it exactly what you titled your folder 4k movies next browse for media folders movies oops 4k movies add add library I'll do movies again for the subject we'll name it classic greats Next, browse for media folder, D drive, movies, classic greats, add, add library. Again, movies, name it, Marvel and DC movies. Next, browse for media folders, add, add library, movies, stand up comedy. And this will be different for everybody, I'm just showing you browse for media folders movies stand-up comedy add add library movies I think this one's Star Wars next Browse for media folders, add, add library. All right, now I'm going to pause it while it loads everything. Just wanted to give you a peek. It's it is it does scan and load up there. <laughs> I I clicked on uh, the media server to pull it up the new page that other page it was saying there was an error but because that was loading on in the server so I just clicked on the server opened it up and now it's loading so I'll go back to pause and let it get finished all right I think we got enough going here it's still scanning it takes a while to scan guys uh, uh, depending on your content but I haven't scanned that haven't scanned that but we got enough content in here that we can carry on and this is just the basics I mean you can go into your settings and you know mess with mess with uh you want your video quality maximum player and the, and then if you have a plex pass you'll get more uh you'll get more uh settings options and stuff but this is just for your basic st your basic setup so then you'll go to your device oops I'm on the shield here. I'm going to open up my Plex. And then this is where you can change your servers. So I'm picking the one we just made. And now that's this one. See how it has the, those sub menu movie folders that I made, the movies. 
TV shows. So you can just pick And once it gets done scanning, then I'll have all the images and stuff like that. But it's still it's still scanning, so I just wanted to get this video done to show you how it how it works. And then once in your app, you need to go into your settings and go down to video quality for re remote and home streaming. Put those on maximum. Because it'll be it'll try to transcode it down to like two t down to 720 so just stick it on maximum for remote streaming and home streaming video quality audio quality put it on original I think it does like 192 or something like that just put it on original and then for the others you'll just have to mess you know for your pass through and and all this stuff you'll just have to fine-tune it for your setup but to get a to get the most out of it do the home and remote streaming at maximum and then also the remote streaming at original and if you have a lot of 4k stuff and don't have the f or the audio like 5.1 audio or 7.1 audio I suggest using a Kodi add-on Plex or this MRMC from the Play Store because it's coded to to, for the audio so you won't get no transcoding it'll direct play so besides the Plex app I suggest looking into MRMC from the Play Store they got a free version you can try out just if you have problems with transcoding and stuff MRMC they have a free version this MRMC light but it only displays eight eight items from each category but just to try it out or you can buy the 299 full version and this is coded for here we'll go back this is a uh, tells you right there what everything it's integrated with direct play and transcode but it's got a, the coding for the audio it's like I only have a sound bar so for my files that have 5.1 sound or 7.1 sound it direct plays it this uh, Plex app it'll transcode it so you might get buffering in issues if you're trying to stream 4k or just 5.1 or 7.1 files but inside of Kodi the Plex add-on or this MRMC it's coded for direct play you won't have to worry about transcoding anything it'll direct play and we'll see if we can show you what I'm talking about here just real quick because I don't want to get striked here um, where's my dashboard see if we can get something to show up on the dashboard there maybe it won't do it while I'm scanning oh well but just trust me on that it, it will it direct plays 
if you use MRMC or the Kodi Plex add-on. So, hope that helps everybody. That's how you set up a, a Plex server. Alright, peace out and happy streaming.